Hi, weirdos. How are you doing? Doing some uh, last minute tweaks with my lamps here. Uh, today we're gonna paint the metallurgist from the uh, box set, which, oh wow, I had it here. The box set with Tyler Hoffman and Tyler Von Schill. And I noticed that my undercoat had missed a little bit. So I undercoated this. Thank you, remade and reforged. Uh, <clears throat> I just really like this model. Uh, she, she looks really cool. It's just elegant, I find. And interesting, lots of cool things to look at. There are uh, cool fire effects and uh, all her tech gear. So it's like a relaxed pose, but still pretty dynamic model. But yeah, I, I, I undercoated her uh, <laughs> when it was pretty dark. Uh, been a bit busy. And therefore, I couldn't see. I, I, was, I was undercoating it on the balcony in the light of my uh, phone flashlight. So, uh, but there we go. Now we have uh, fixed that little undercoat. Like, I'm just painting this with black regular black paint. There's paint on primers too, but I'm not super bothered uh, right now because it's a, it's a plastic miniature. Uh, I think it's gonna be fine with just these few areas that weren't opaque black. There we go. So, Gonna start off by, as usual, painting the skin. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna base coat it with Citadel Bagman's Glow. And uh, like her, uh, there's still uh, some black paint drying on her shims, but that's fine because, or it's probably gonna be fine. So we'll just start slapping this on different areas first. If you want to paint the metals with true metallics and you wanna paint the metals by dry brushing, which is pretty popular, I would suggest doing that first. I'm not gonna dry brush the metals because, I mean, like, I want her gear to look a little bit more taken care of. Like, uh, she gives a vibe of someone who puts love and effort into taking care of her uh, her gear. Hello, McLove. How are you doing? Can always count on you, McLove. Always nice to see you here. I only managed to pop in for a little while yesterday on Ben's stream. I uh, sometimes, like, I I had coffee and my brain, sometimes when I've been drinking coffee, my brain uh, is very easily distracted and I'm like trying to do 10 things uh, at once and I, uh, like, I, I, I can't focus. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, like, I run away doing something else after a while. Hope it was nice. 
Yeah, I'm pretty good. It's been a hectic day. Uh, and uh, yeah, I uh, <laughs> oops, I painted some skin tone on, on her glove there. Oopsie. Wait, you guys have focus? I do at times, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty good at folk, or am I? Wait, is that? No, that's not our glove. That's uh, that's the cool magical effect swirl thingy. Okay, so whatever. You either, either have no focus or hyper focus. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm very caffeine sensitive. I like coffee, but I try to like I brewed uh, coffee with half. Caffeine half decaf, but I still get I still get pretty pretty strange at times. <laughs> I wonder if if that what it feels like having a DHT when I've had coffee. Not trying to reduce ADHD to like <laughs> caffeine, but maybe it's somewhat similar. The effect I get, I don't know. I'm just rambling, probably just saying really stupid things. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we're gonna need two layers for this. Uh, if we slapped it on too thick, it might get, we might lose some detail. I got some uh, <clears throat> some Tesla coils, three D printed uh, to use as uh, are, what are they called? Pylons or nodes? I think it's one in the ability and one in the action for a Hoffman inventor. So I'm gonna use those for uh, pylon markers. Gonna be fun. I think it's pretty interesting how differently people are affected by coffee. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee for the longest time. I uh, I started drinking coffee when I was uh, 31 or 32, for real, like as a habit. <laughs> and for a very long time, I'd been uh, a little envious of people drinking coffee because I was like, they always seem so, so damn happy when they got their cup of coffee. Maybe because it means they don't get a headache after a while, but you know, that I, I really wanted that extra thing to look forward to every day. It was like, hey, you guys who drink coffee, you got one more thing to look forward to every day. And you seem super excited for it. And you, yeah, I was like, I want that too. <laughs> so that's what finally pulled me over. And I was dating someone who, who loved coffee. So I was like, I, wanna, yeah, I guess I didn't want to be some wuss being like, nah, meh, coffee icky. And now I like it. 
but it can give me anxiety. <laughs> so, I have not um, streamed all that much on my, my own stream, uh, but um, the other day I, uh, I uh, painted this guy, uh, the undercover reporter. She's a lovely model. Uh, <laughs> I like how silly is. Uh, I thought it turned out pretty cool. Um, it's pretty fun painting sack weave thingy. I like painting some little apples. Like this guy. I noticed that the planks don't really match up. Like upper and lower planks. They don't line up properly. Hmm. Oh well. It's cool. Hi, no worries. Um but yeah, with base coat of that. Oh, I missed a little spot underneath her. There we go. Oh, you don't have to say you're sorry for popping out for a little while. Um, I'm gonna bring up a picture of the metallurgist to have a look-see. There we go. Sometimes that helps. If there are any details you're unsure of. Right, it's a little spot. Mm -hmm. She does have a pretty modern feel to her, this meanie. The shorts and the top she's wearing. Because she doesn't really feel all that Victorian, but I really like her. Hmm. Item luck. Welcome. My plus says, I'm having a strange but happy experience with making my animatic 
The process has been quite slow, but for once that isn't disheartening for me or making me lose motivation. I'm actually happy that I'm taking the time to make it look as polished as possible. It's a nice feeling. That's nice. That's, uh, yeah, like deadlines can of course be motivating, but there are certainly some perks with not having a clear deadline. Uh, just really nice. Difference between hobby and work, perhaps. Yeah, no problem. I just mentioned I'm streaming because I uh, wanted you to know I couldn't reply until later to your message. Uh, I appreciate she the lurk for sure. It is sort of a steam fitter, but it's actually a model called the Metallurgist, which is a fry core augmented miniature. So like Hoffman keyword and Von Chill keyword. So uh, might feel a little bit Arcanist, but the only Arcanist who can use her is Hoffman. Okay, so what colors do we want to paint all this different stuff? Um, so got some cogs and, uh, yeah, I really like the model, uh, got some cogs and some magical electrical fire or something. Maybe we'll do that light blue, bright blue and, um, maybe red there. Yeah. Maybe I'll... I think maybe I'll do kind of like the box art, but with a little bit red instead of green. Looks like it, she looks like she could be a fun through the breach character too. Not sure why I say that, but just feels like a somehow. Mini really has the vibe of like a uh, role playing character illustration, demonstrating her profession in the illustration. I like it. I'm doing a simple flesh wash to give some extra warmth, some quick shadows, and uh, And like looking at the art, she reminds me of someone, but I'm not sure who. Hmm. Not quite sure. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some steel legion drab. Let's try and sit properly. <laughs> And I'm going to paint her trousers, steel agent and grab. That's probably her belt, right? Yeah. Oopsie. I'm going to leave some of the deepest recesses perhaps black I 
Did I start early? Yes. And no. Like, there's this. There's this thing called a daylight savings, and they occur different weeks in the US compared to, say, Sweden. So we now have summertime in some parts of the US. So, oh, hi, Guslato. Sorry, I only noticed Spiridine. Hi, Guslato. Hi, Spiridine. So, yeah, daylight savings. It's confusing and annoying. And since they <laughs> happen at different times in different or different uh, weeks, different days, dates is a word in different countries, that's super annoying and it breaks my brain. But think of all the daylight we're saving, <laughs> right? Yeah, I heard of that. I heard about that. Kim told me uh, permanently lock is in daylight time. That sounds, you know, that that sounds like you're condemned to eternal day. Like you'll never get daylight or nighttime again. Imagine the horror. Yeah, wish uh, we would do that in Sweden too. They like shavings time. Ooh, shaving in daylight is probably fine. It's useful seeing uh, what you're doing, right? Planet was tidally locked. Was it a good one? And how are you doing, Spiridon and Guslato? I think in Sweden, we don't get daylight savings until like two weeks. No, wait, not this weekend, but the weekend after. So like one and a half weeks. Interesting book. I recently finished um, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the Hunger Games prequel, uh, which was uh, fine. And uh, I've now started listening to She Who Became the Sun, which is a retelling of the Milan legend story thingy. I've painted the belt cocky now, but whatever. Doing well. Nice to hear. I've missed your stream uh, way too many times now, Guslato. Oops, that's not. That's actually part of that garment. I'm uh, often up, don't have. Well, I'm rambling now. Okay. Saw tournament pics you posted and uh, saw you had cookies. I got jealous. Both things. Oh, 
let's maybe that's nice it's nice when you get cookies I got some nice cake when I played uh, Malafo and Malma a Dane brought cake he baked Very nice. Vegan and tasted good. That is the best. Vegan and taste good. It's good. I like it. Vegan cooking can definitely, or baking can definitely be a challenge. But often when done well, like the I find the only difference is that you got you don't get that egg taste. Okay, so I'm using Rakar Flash to block in this tank top sorta. Like maybe it's not a tank top, but at top. Anyway. Did you organize the tournament? Or was it someone else who did it? Or was it that Steam part scoundrels tournament maybe i'm getting confused oops did i oh i painted over some of it but that's fine yeah Other dog. Okay. Maybe that's why I was confused. So many dogs. Well, two, but you know. Both of the dogs. Roman and Bowman. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to hold a tournament or two tournaments you, uh, during Easter in Gothenburg. You can play one day or two days. So it's like two one day tournaments that can work also work. They also work as a two day tournament. Which might sound odd, but it kind of works. And the reason for that is that it's during a con and a lot of people want to do other things at that con too. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> like half of the people wanted one day years and half wanted two day years. You totally do. Were you going to play both days, Spiderdyne? Dine? 
I think the only danger of doing this is that one tournament might end up really small and the other one big. <laughs> we'll see. You don't know. I see. No. I made a boo boo. Oopsie. Heating the new shop space. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm really looking forward to, well, both Easter because of our Malifaux tournament, but also the uh, Six Nations tournament in Scotland in May. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm grabbing some uh, Buckman's Glow mixed with a little bit of rosy skin. And I'm going to Kind of block in the yeah mid tones of metallurgists skin tones. Try and build them up. So I'm painting this in. Uh, most areas, but leaving some, the darker color, like nearest other areas and in recesses and crevices. Crevices, I'm not sure there are any crevices. Well, you know, little natural occurring valleys of the human body near the shorts, some shading. So we're, uh, we're doing Caucasian skin tone, like on the box art. Hmm. Room for 33 games. That's huge, awesome. Spartan's wondering if you can talk to Umeo boys into hosting me for one night on my way north. I mean, probably. Wait, you're way north? Oh, are you doing the crazy thing where you're going to drive all the way? What do you mean you're way north? I'm confused. Either way, the Umyo people will probably sort you out. Nice guys as they are. Anyone's wondering, Ume is Ume or Umeo is in the northern part of Sweden. And it also happens to be like the, uh, probably the part with the most skilled players. Need to be in Lapland on Thursday after GothCon. Oh, okay, cool.
Saveable trip. Yeah, but isn't it really expensive with the gas? And time? But yeah, gas. Like gas is extra expensive now, right? Really? Okay. Hmm. Leaving the darker paint in her eye sockets and uh, her ears. Underneath her shin. I think we're gonna do a brown wash on these. Cocky trousers. That's not a brown wash, that's a black wash. All right, there it is. So, some Agrax are a shade because this, uh, these trousers have some pretty good texture, or not texture, more, well, kind of texture. Pretty good folds for washing. Thinking I'll give it some quick shadows for that. Well, I won't do that on the top though, because I think like that feels a bit I want it brighter, so I'm not gonna do such a harsh shadow there. I think, yeah, I missed a little bit. Uh, it's more from Stockholm. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, since gas is so damn expensive right now. And diesel. <laughs> Everything's bigger in the US. I said, King, what do you want? And that brush go. Oh, 
Well, you're a talkative cat. Just gonna bring a brush. There we go. So, I bought some brushes. I'm just gonna open those up. This one has started to, like, the tip is a little. Not as sharp anymore. I try to take care of my brushes, but like you paint a lot. Actually, the tip does a little worn out. This packaging was a little special. Hmm. Wow. This is an unboxing video now. Come on. Give me the brush. Give me the brush, man. Those are a lot of square feet. Brush? 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 Look at these babies. Oh, they're beautiful. Hmm. Beautiful. Brings tears to my eyes. Raphael 8404 Kolinsky brushes. So if I bring out the one, size one. Okay. Current size one I've been painting with on the left here. And then the new one. The right. Yeah. Left one is still nice. But it's got it's lost a little bit of that sharp tip. I really like these brushes. They have quite a thick body <laughs> and still a good point. Which I feel is what you want. So I wanted to like really thin brushes, they don't they don't hold a lot of paint. So well, you'll have to refill them with paint very often, which is annoying. Oops, bumped into the camera there, sorry. Um, you know what? Me, I actually don't have a local game store where I can play. In Gothenburg, Sweden's second largest city. There is no LGS to, to play at. Can play like there's a board games cafe, but you can't uh, can't really play miniature games there. You can play like Warhammer Underworlds. That doesn't take up a lot of space. So 
we got to make do with uh, clubs and to be frank, I really like playing at home in the sofa. <laughs> Feeling of a new brush. It's just really nice. Gigabytes. It's a very cool name. That's a pretty 90s name for a game store, isn't it? 90s are in. Come to Texas. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. I mean, um, say if you please don't eat the cardboard. I gave you food. Kitty. Kitty's like, Kitty wants to tell all of the world that she's starving so much that she literally has to eat cardboard to um, to, to survive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid I don't really have the funds to come to Texas. I'm sorry. Oh, it would be fun to, to go to the U.S. again sometime. Yeah. Uh, maybe I need to switch jobs if I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> Living off commission painting isn't going to uh, make me rich. But it's really fun. So I'm just uh, adding in more and more. Rosy skin to that Bagman's glow. Would be awesome to go to the LVO for sure. At least I do get to go to Six Nations. Whoop whoop, hyped. Our Neverborn player jumped shit though, so, but I think they have like a mercenary sort of on site. I can help you with such situations. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes it kind of feels like it wouldn't hurt being a millionaire, you know? Sporting a cool side cut, just really in right now. This. This lady is very modern.
Maybe you'll just have to come over here, Guslato. I should go to finish tournament sometime. Wish I had infinite money. If I see it enough, maybe it'll happen. Maybe. Rope con. Cool. Rope con sounds like a bondage thing. I'm sorry, but it does. What did I just say? Look at the children. <laughs> and goth con is, of course, for goths, you know. Roly pally. Ro is that what it's called in Finnish? Roly pally. Is it? <laughs> That's so cute. Finnish is just the best. I'm like, why would you? Some of the Finnish words is like, why would you even? How do you come up with those? Though that probably applies to Swedish as well. <laughs> Rollspell is, yeah, no. Rollspell is probably not better, no. <laughs> but Rolly Pelly, like, yeah. Look, dude, I think there's, uh, I think Finland should be lucky that you can uh, sing in English for Eurovision, you know? No, but I like Finnish. I do. Just mixing in more and more rosy skin. Uh, using pretty transparent layers to try and build this up more and more. And there we get it. I think Sweden should feel lucky that it can sell all its songs to other countries in Eurovision. <laughs> I was waiting for a good retort. And that was, uh, that was pretty an imag imaginative one. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Well done. Slam. <laughs> Yeah, we do a lot of the songs. Or we, like like I do any of them. I've got no skill or talent for music whatsoever. <laughs> Good banter. Good banter. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> Sweden exporting songs and uh, furniture and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> How was it? I like when I, if I go to IKEA, I just I just want to sleep. Like something about the place just makes me kind of fall asleep. Don't know if it's the ambience or some I don't know. That sounds a good, like a good IKEA trip in about 10 minutes. That's how I'd prefer it. But now everyone wants to stay there for ages and I just want to go to bed. I don't like being at IKEA. Well, I, I can't like look, looking at some of the stuff, but it, it, it just gets so tired immediately. That's nice. Can be an overwhelming place. Yes, I agree. Sensory overload, I guess, maybe. But it's fun walking around in like little parts of homes, being like, "Oh, this is this is kitchen." Wonder how often they have to wake people up for uh, falling asleep in the beds. Yeah. Train making hacks, please do tell. Do tell. I want to know. Now. Now. If I'm a little weird, who am I kidding? I'm always a little weird. Like, I've uh, I've ha held a uh, photo slash image editing course today, or part one of it, uh, in person. Wow. Like, these days, huh? And uh, I just went home, slammed a pizza into my mouth, and uh, kind of forced Kim to 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 listen whilst I was eating it and talking nonsense. And then I started screaming. So it's been a little intense. Hi, Spenswiler. Need to make that track. Pick up a few more Rasko cards. Fetish object in our household. What is that Rasko card? I need to go that. Do you mean a fetish or a fetish? <laughs> I'm going to wager it's a fetish. Uh... <laughs> Goes louder. I take some of those little fake plastic potted plants, break them up into smaller pieces, glue them to bases, and boom, trees. I've been pondering doing that. Yeah, actually, my roomies got like when I moved in here with my buddy Joe, who whom I I, I rent from. Uh, yeah, he he only had plastic plants. And I brought in some real ones. Uh, I felt the place needed it. But like, he's got some plastic pants. You think he'll notice if I just clip some stuff off? <laughs> kind of worship them. Yeah, so Spiredon, I think, they, think it's more maybe a religious fetish. Not, not a sexual one, you dirty fin.
By the way, guys, I, I need to show you. I the stream uh, uh, Tuesday. I paint uh, on my own stream, which I rarely use, but I want to try and use it more often. I painted this little guy. I'm gonna call him Jim Hawkins. No, not Hawkins. Jim. There's Jim Hawkins. Right. I think that's the guy from Treasure Island. And right, I think Spiredon saw it, but not maybe not the finished one. Boop, boop, ba -doop, boop, boop, ba -doop. Jim Stevenson. Okay. That's good. It is Spiredine's uh Fire Dance Racing is a blonde. I like that. He's a blonde. Yeah. Uh, I think it kind of makes this makes it pop a bit. Helps give some focus to his face. And cross hatching the the bag it was fun. I like doing uh like weaved thingies. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Just had to show you that. Nice. Yeah, I might go to IKEA sometime. We'll see. Like I, uh, I don't have a car. I know the concept of not having a car probably sounds insane to American people. But like, it's not that strange if you're living in one of the bigger cities, uh, which are small, uh, in Sweden. Um, but it does make it a little awkward to go to IKEA. It doesn't? I thought it did because like, I've learned that most Americans just drive everywhere. Maybe that's not entirely true. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Maybe that's just me being misinformed. Yeah. Like, I don't even have a driver's license because I, when I was uh, trained to, when I was practicing that, I uh, I was not in the best place in my life and it, like kind of just, just didn't happen. And I never picked that up again. But I like, it's a little harder getting one in Sweden uh, than a lot of other countries. Uh, I do want to get one. Misinformed. I don't think there's a misinformed. No. Yeah, all rep reported would be fun. But what would it look like? Hmm. Think misinformation, yeah, maybe alt. Allison Dade. Alternative Archivist. Yeah, sure. That could be cool.
Boy, am I glad about the archivist getting nerfed. <laughs> that miniature was ridiculous. Hey, look, there are a lot of fun puns yet to make with the Miss models. This is the wrong color, the wrong paint. Oh no. This is the correct one. I don't think there's a misled one. That could be cool too. Maybe like, could have something to do with like shooting, like a gunslinger with lead, misled. Maybe, maybe like, yeah, I was thinking maybe Mad Dog or maybe even uh, the master himself. Parker Barrows. Damn, my dog is a good model. Both the miniature and the rules. Brr, brr, Uh, what? <laughs> Why? What are you regarding for? The concept of just like uh, Parker Barrows out. Yeah, is that like a meme? Do you feel my progress is kind of slow in this one? Indeed. Pretty local, okay. I'm actually gonna play a Middle Earth event on uh, Saturday. That's obviously not my favorite game, Malifaux, but it's something. It's going to be fun. We're, there'll be a Malifaux event the weekend after in a town not too far from here, which I want to try and attend. Pravda. So I should be fun. Malifo Day. So not a tournament, but should be fun. See if I bring Nelly or Hoffman or both. Maybe Hoff, maybe Nelly, because Nelly's finished. Hmm. 
have not finished painting my Hoffman crew. He's the only Arcanist monster I haven't painted. But now I'm playing him in Guild. Uh, so playing him in Arcanist would be pretty nice. Then the Metallurgist could have the Ar... Wait, no. No. She could not have the Arcan Reservoir. That needs to be a minion. That would be cheating. I was like, she's living, but wait, no. No, no, no. Not allowed. Are you pl gonna play a game tonight? Did you try out the new Moleman, Guslado? I want to, but I uh, need to practice guild. Yep, it's Thursday. <laughs> well, I didn't know Thursday was your uh, game night, but now I do know. I might forget though. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played with Mark Morning too, but like reading his card makes just just makes me smile. It's also very environment friendly. We use uh, the, uh um, something reanimate. What's it called? R. Yeah, you're gonna help me out any second now. Reuse, reduce, reuse, reanimate. Oh, thank you. Resurrectionists are very environmentally friendly. Not like those diesel engine toting arcanists. Reduce, reuse, recycle, actually. Thank you. I appreciate that, well, actually. Uh, most fun. Uh, Yes, Guslato is talking about reanimation again. Trying to manipulate us. Most fun, uh, miss. Well, it's not misspelling, but most fun mistake I've seen in Malfa with names was someone calling Titania Tatiana, which, like, it makes sense. <laughs> but it's Somehow it's just really funny. 
Tatiana gives a little bit of a different vibe than the Elf Queen. Not saying it was a bad name or anything, but you know. It's a little different. <laughs> well, it's certainly not going to happen if people stop trying. Tatyushka. Oh, speaking of language, uh, saw so, uh, Umbrella Academy 3 is coming up. Let me tell you, the Swedes in Umbrella Academy are not Swedes. They do not speak Swedish. <laughs> but it's funny. I love it. It's a very good parody of the Swedes. I think it's hilarious. There's some finish in those Swedes, though, like the whole sauna thing. <laughs> now, is there a trailer? I know I saw some picture, but I didn't see a trailer either. Queen tits works, I guess. Though I'm not sure she would uh, agree herself. Really short teaser, okay. Really, really short teaser. Actually, what you said. Why am I having so much trouble with the right side of her face? Said you don't eat cardboard you silly goose yeah I really like umbrella academy so far Especially Klaus. Klaus is my favorite. You, yeah, you should probably. More that he means the young low. We call him Janne. Because it's fun. Um. Nice. I want to try that game. Uh, ordering stuff from the US can be pretty expensive with import tax and stuff. Why am I having so much trouble with this face? Oh well. Get there in the end, I'm sure. Yeah. 
Damn it. Why do you, why did they have to do Brexit? Ugh. I don't think Brexit made anyone more happy. <laughs> Ugh. Insert cat Brexit meme. Ben's Wilder, where are you from? Yeah, yeah, probably made him happy, I guess. Atlanta, cool. So, what, what was your guys' this favorite thing about the Malifo Errata? that came out recently. City with a big airport. Hey, th this is gonna sound ridiculous. It's Atlantic City in Atlanta. Like, it should be, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna get upset. Best games company is Word Games in Atlanta. What? McMurning Two Corrections was the favorite of. Fired out. Greater Atlanta area. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. I've seen way too little of your drama. Don't know why. Because I quite enjoy it.
You never realized this before now, Paradigm? <laughs> it's not a bad combination of colors. It's a, it's a very solid one. Robust. Okay, so when are you going to do a blue crew? And why do you keep telling me to paint stuff pink when you don't do it yourself? Or is it because pink is light red? Well, that's nice. So they're light red. Sixteen. Where did I put my white paint? Can you locate it for me? There we go. Painting pink kimono. Yeah. Pink is fun to paint. I agree. Painting ice. This is where gluing this on makes my life a little hard. But like if I didn't glue it on, I'd have to <sighs> like there's uh there would be like uh some other annoying issues. Painting. Yes, kitty. It would have been weird, maybe. Like, I'm not sure what the color pink was like for the 
like what it meant or was used for in uh, the equivalent of his home. In those days, <laughs> yeah, sure, it's fair. Actually, I got pink on my Chiaki, but nothing on the rest of my yellow crew. But she doesn't match the rest of my yellow crew, so. <laughs> Yeah, bit of a mistake, perhaps. Kind of want the new Misaki to place the old model. Mm. Doing some final white highlights and some prominent areas of the face. And it, ah, I said Misaki, I meant Chiaki. Thank you. I often say the wrong word. Like I think one word and then I say something else. Can't make for confusion. Uh, confusing conversations. Been, been spending an unreasonable amount of time painting her the right side of her face. <laughs> Just stuck in a loop. I, I, uh, some reason really difficult to get it right. I was never very interested in Misaki, and I'm, I'm not sure why. I think maybe there was sort of a, like, a team thing where, like, you were either Team Misaki or you were Team May. Does that sound familiar to you guys? 
Is that a thing? It's fun how orange you can push highlights while still having it look red. Yeah. I mean, if it ever turns too orange, you can use Caucasian skin uh, to mix into it. Like, uh, good highlight color for that. But I like, say, Fire Dragon Bright from G Dubs from Citadel. I think that's a good red highlight color for a warm red. Um. I've got some white on the plate. I'm going to mix that into the Rackarth flesh and start finally working on this top. You've lost it. Oh, no. Hello again, McBluff. Welcome back. I think I messed up her right eye a little bit. Like, I should maybe have left this part off, but if I left it off, it would also... I, I'd have this area where if I glued her arm on afterwards, I'd have a seam here to uh, deal with. So that'd be annoying in that way. So it's like a loose loose situation. So that would be would have been nicer if it was cut a little differently. But it's a lovely miniature. That's fine. What I said, what did I say? I said, uh, said I spent way too much <laughs> time painting this side of the face. And I said that um, it would have been nice in a way to have left her left arm off. Uh, because it would have made it easier to paint the eyes and the right side of our face. But if I left it off, there would have been a seam. Like when I glued on the left arm then, there would be a seam that would be very visible on... Uh, on that arm, and I'd have to deal with that after painting the model, which would be annoying. Like, really annoying. Then I also started painting the top, mixing Rock Earth Flash with some of the white I put on my palette. Highlighting her.
our chest. Looking for those uh, creases in the fabric to put the highlights on. Starting to feel rage. Why is that like all the red paint? It's affecting you. Is it that you can't find the orange paint? Or what's what's going on? What's wrong? Not finding the orange. That does suck. I really hate looking for things. That can make me so annoyed. Not finding something. Can make me really angry. <laughs> Foul mood. Hope you find it soon. And maybe some pure white. Maybe a bit harsh. You'll have to wait a little bit for your food, kitty cat. Yes, you will. <clears throat> then gonna mix steel agent drive and a little bit of rock art flash and start working on her dungaroos, I guess. 
Work, working pants, overalls, overall, probably. Kitty cat's making feel sorry for me, poor me sounds in the background. Don't know if they're audible. Have a bit of a bad hair day today. Hmm. Trying to focus on the raised areas as usual. Okay, have a good day. Nice having you here. See you, Spence Weiler. That is, seems like a good plan, spreading. Right, that's the belt. You need to remember to paint that black later. Or maybe dark brown or something. But I'm probably gonna want it to have like black contours. No matter what. This layer's looking a little harsh, so I'm probably gonna work in some. Uh... Hi, Aaron, please. How are you doing? Probably gonna work in some tone in between them. Oh, sorry to hear that. That's life. But you hear now. So that's good. Does that mean today is a little more chill?
Speaking of chill things, I'm gonna watch the new Batman film tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. I'm thinking. With Robert Pattinson. KK. Melanin chill, yeah. Submitted a large project yesterday, so that eases things for now until we find out if the bid was successful or is this a mess? Okay. Uh, yeah, let, let, let's hope it uh, was successful. Let's hope it is. The, I, I'm good. Today has been a little intense, but fun. And uh, yeah, it's the metallurgist. Augmented and Fry-Core Enforcer. And a way to get a rocket launcher into Hoffman, which is fun. Should be fun. It's a protection against hazardous and blast and pulses and stuff. Like if you're facing Karis or Wong or something, she could be a good pick. Okay, have a great day, you too, Guslado. Nice it as always. See you around. a bit back and forth for this bright cocky. Back and forth. It isn't, no. Maybe it jumped off your table. Maybe it's behind something. Oh no. May you find it soon.
darn elusive paint pot. Excuse me. Find the vacuum cleaner. Well, maybe it was, well, you know, it's a bright color. Maybe that's how it got there. Very elusive paint. Fire Dragon Bright, brighter than you think. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I belong here. It's my Pinocchio voice. Using uh, some uh, Rocker Flesh mixed with some white as like a final highlight. Um, focusing on like the sharp creases, like where, uh, where two folds meet and uh, where they turn. Like this, that got a little funky. That looks the best doing that. Best way to punish a paintball hiding. I don't think she should punish the the bright orange. It's too bright. It might do something very clever next time if you punish it. I think maybe you should reward it for being good instead. Whenever it is good, you know? I believe in more in that kind of stuff. Why are you gonna be like that, man? Why? Then why you bloody ask? You meanie. You tyrant. Punish twice as hard doesn't sound like balance, man. I'm defending a paint pot.
Okay, you do you. It's your pain pot, your decision. Um, okay. Mm, next, maybe red. Maybe red. gonna paint this uh, these under trousers sort of I, I guess they're kind of her her trousers underneath her work overalls uh, but I'm painting them with a mix of black and my fist on red. Since I'm going for a pretty, like a deep red. In the artwork, you got like a pea green or whatever. A green piece. Pea green is perhaps an unfortunate word. Iron Cleese, have you used many of the Tile Masters yet? Any favorites so far? Uh, I'm thinking it's totally fine for anyone to answer this question. Uh, myself, I've tried a few. Uh, tried Nelly voice of disorder three times i think with different results like i find she's she can be really bloody annoying but she's also like if you don't play into her game uh she you can deal with her like she she she's best probably in uh the deployments like turf war and wet no turf war standard deployments and wedge i find the diagonals are probably yeah that's what i'm thinking too spartan if you're playing diagonal deployments you might have to spread out too much depending on strats and schemes well i like nelly too she almost feels like uh, like her and August fit really well together. Probably more so than Jackdaw and August. I've also tried Hoffman Inventor uh, a couple of times. And he's really good. He's re he really is very good his crew very well and you can spread out more than regular Hoffman. Like zapping for three or four irreducible damage is really scary and his construction claw is really good. Like two, four, five is solid as a damage track, but it's also, it also moves the enemy a lot. So ignoring triggers, like you got two, four or five damage on a two inch reach attack that also places the enemy within two of Hoffman. So that's quite a lot of disruption. Um, tried Sonia to once, uh, was a bit unlucky, like I black jokered her once per 
turn action turns one and two. And uh, no, I played her twice. Second time was much more successful. Uh, but I feel she is a little held back by uh, like witchlings not being like they can hit like trucks, but they can also have a really bad time against a lot of things. And there's a lot of investment in getting them fast and effective. I've uh, I've tried Maxine too once, and she's really good. She's like she can be very confusing when you read her card. And then I felt it kind of clicked when I had her on the table. Really mean ones per turn action. Marcus too, I've used once to, as well. Like I, I wanted to try a lot of different things. So several of these I've, I've tried once or twice. Marcus feels like he's crazy good. The amount of bullshit defenses you can get or Marcus Alpha makes him incredibly difficult to deal with for most things. So I think like to for me, Hoffman Inventor and Marcus Alpha are my favorites. What about yourself? I know uh, Spiderdyne really likes uh, McMorning too. And he seems like a lot of fun. I've, I've faced him and that, that was a horrible experience. <laughs> morning to that is playing against classes playing against spiredine sorry is not a horrible experience that is a nice experience nice i've yet to like i read summer but i haven't like i don't really remember what it does i know he's got a Crazy long aura. Oh, cool. What are your thoughts on those? What are your thoughts on Nelly 2 and Hoffman? Like I find Nelly 2 can be tricky to use if you need, like she, she really doesn't seem to like spreading out. Yeah, LEA2 seems really good. Don't have LJ anymore, I'm afraid. I am tempted. I think Perdita too seems really good. Planning on taking Nelly and Hoffman to the Six Nations event. I don't think 
it's good for me to practice more on those. But I've been umming and gnawing about Nelly a bit. Maybe I, I want to play Nelly one sometimes. Aaron Clay is now 200 quite tricky, and the draw was when I had to spread. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Like, you, you can do some crazy mean combos with their crew with overlapping auras, but, but like, that's if everything just bunches up. I think maybe Nelly one is better if you need to spread out more, right? Or what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I really like Hoffman Inventor. I got some uh, Tesla. Tesla coils printed to use as uh, power nodes, as pylons. Looks pretty cute. <laughs> you heard correctly, Spiredine. Spiredine hates Nelly. Nelly won for waterboard 100%. I'm glad you agree. That means maybe I'm onto something there. I don't like Hoff Inventor model though. You know, um, yeah, I agree. Like I'm not super keen on it either. I was thinking of using the Avatar Hoffman model for it since that's a huge model that's on a 50 millimeter base and I mean, it's Hoffman and a huge construct with a gun and a sword. So I feel like that kind of works. You can always just bring out the real miniature if someone minds. Avatar Hoffman is cool. I've uh, got it. Friend gave it to me. Just need to paint it. Got it built. There's something like Hoffman Inventor. Uh, I his pose is a little awkward somehow, and one of his thumbs looks broken. Otherwise, it's kind of cool. But a whole, like a lot of the title models are really nice. Perdita too, being one of them. She that's the best Perdita sculpt in my opinion. Hoff himself is a little awkward, so yeah. But is that thumb supposed to look broken? I don't know. Maybe it is. But you have a point, I guess. It's a little weird that Hoffman 3, he, he looks super fit. Mm -mm. Yeah, cool. Nikima 2 seems good. And she's cool. Nikki Mama.
This miniature I love. She's the favorite one of that box. So I bought, I bought the Remade and Reforged box. Uh, but a friend is going to get the Von Schill model and we can uh, have shared custody of this lady. Wang 2, Von Stuck 2, Nakima 2. Mm. Faith Entwined. Those models are really cool. So many cool models. <laughs> For sure. I find it a little funny that, like, I I think it's kind of adorable how Mei Feng, she looks pretty happy in her, like, a hard day's work makes that very angry woman pretty happy. Oh, we're out of time, yeah, whoops, almost out of time. Yeah, as I suspected, we were not able to finish this miniature, but maybe next time. So yeah, got my info there. I'm gonna try and keep streaming um, on my usual stream. Like I did a Tuesday stream. I don't have a fixed day for it, but I painted this guy on my Tuesday stream. So uh, there should be more fun stuff coming up there. Uh, and yeah, next week I'll see you guys on Tuesday instead of Thursday because of, uh, reasons and, uh, you'll, I'll keep, we'll keep you posted on what time. Uh, it's been great. Thank you guys. Take care and see you and message me if there's anything you want to talk about. Bye-bye.